three. For the following isotopes that have missing information, fill in the missing information to complete the notation. Okay. So here's our, uh, here's our first example out of the bunch. All right, we have a 34 on the top, a 14 on the bottom, and then an X. Now just know that X is not an element. So this is the missing information. We have to find out what this X is. Now if they're giving you this nucleide or, yeah, nucleide, I think, or isotope uh, information that's written like this, where you have a number on the top, the bottom, and a lettering on the side, on the right side, this is always reserved for the elemental lettering, basically. So on the periodic table, it's all of the shorthand lettering. So B for boron, C for carbon, N for nitrogen, O for oxygen, and the list goes on and on. So we just have to figure out who this is. Well, there's two numbers here, a 34 and a 14. Which one is going to lead us to the you know, the knowledge of finding out what element this is. It is the lower number. Now, the reason is because the lower number is the atomic number. Now, the atomic number is never going to change for a element. On, you know, on the flip side, the 34 in this case can change because the 34 or the number on the top is the atomic mass number or a mass, yeah, a mass number or atomic mass. And that can change depending on how many neutrons the element has. But the atomic number never changes. So you can find out what element it is by looking at that atomic number. And all your atomic numbers are going to be the whole numbers that you're going to see on the periodic table. Now, sometimes they'll have the whole numbers on the top, like here. Sometimes they might have them on the bottom, but just find where the whole numbers are. So in this case, we're searching for a 14. So I scan, 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 and here I go. There's the 14, right? And no other element has the number 14 as the whole number. That is silicons and silicons alone. But we just have to give the X value we're not going to write silicon because in this notation, it's just that lettering. So in this case, it's just going to be SI. And that is the final answer. So that's the piece of the puzzle that was missing. And there you go. So there should have been an SI right here. Okay, that's it. I wish there was more, right? But uh, sometimes short and sweet, straight to the point, good for me. So thank you so much for uh, coming to the video and learning. I really hope that I'm helping you guys out in your classes. Um, go check the channel out. We've got tons more videos and more subjects. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already, thank you so much for that. And we open memberships up. So if you want to be a member to the channel and help us out a little bit more, you get great perks. I think they're great um, that go along with it. So check it out. And I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.